Hello again, Kons here. This time I'm summarizing the Hammer meta sets at the moment, and hopefully I've got some disclaimers on screen now, but they're the same as before. Uh, Hammer is a lot more simple than Greatsword. There are only a few meta sets. Really, there's only one, and that is using the Light Break Hammer, the extra slots, and the sharpness, and just everything about it, because it's, it sort of edges out very slightly off of Safi. You can still run Safi if you want to, but... um. But a uh, light brick does come out in front. And so this is the standard set. It's three-piece Kaiser, two-piece Brachidium for Master's Touch and for Agitator's Secret. A whole bunch of DPS skills, as you can see on there. Affinity at 30% with Agi7 gets you to 50 and then Weakness Exploit to get you to 100. As always, Coalescence is a little bit iffy. Depends on uh, the matchup and stuff. And you could always swap that out for something like Airborne uh, so that you could mix in some Aerial Hammer into play if you know how to play that playstyle. Uh, and speaking of, actually, let me show you the Aerial Hammer. Oh, just before that, uh, I should mention actually, you can run uh, Polish instead of Master's Touch and then you can swap out your 3-piece of Kaiser for better armor. I've seen people run 3-piece uh, Safi, 2-piece Brachidium uh, to get Resentment and because they find it a little bit more consistent than peak performance, especially when you have Fire Blight with Coalescence. Uh, so yeah, you can mix it up, you also get a little bit more raw from that and because you're dropping the Health Augment, you obviously get another Attack Augment or whatever you like. Um, oh, I should mention that my augments on my light break have uh, attack and health, but obviously you take whatever you're most comfortable with. If you are running peak performance, I would definitely recommend health augment though. So that's one option. The other option I've seen, three piece Kaiser, three piece Safi. And by that I mean three pieces of Safi armor, two pieces of Kaiser armor, and uh, Master's Touch unlocked on a Safi Jiva weapon. Uh, if you are going to run that, I would recommend you put enough sharpness on your Safi Jiva weapon to get natural purple or purple with some handicraft. So yeah, speaking of Aerial Hammer, hopefully you've seen the playstyle by now. If not, it should be on screen either now or shortly. But uh, the skills are here. Um, basically, it's a Frostcraft set because Hammer consumes very little of the Frostcraft bar uh, per attack. Uh, it's a Frostcraft set uh, with a couple of DPS skills that just tries to get its way up to 100% affinity. Now, there isn't that much information on Aerial Hammer online. I've seen like conflicting people, everyone's using different sets. Um, so this is the best approximate to meta that I could run, but it kind of does depend uh, on what matchup you're going for and things like that. I've seen people drop blast because they don't want blast procs to mess up, but that's very specific speedrun kind of strats. Generally speaking, this should serve you just fine. You can see the two points of agitator get us to 50% uh, affinity when it's enraged, and so then we're at 100 with, with a weakness exploit. Of course, airborne is essential if you aren't aware. It is a skill that gives 30% to all of your aerial attacks. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much fundamental to the playstyle. Um, and everything else really just comes with the set. Uh, I like to run a point of evade extender. You don't have to. I find it helps me reach the ledge for my ledge spam. But um, but you can obviously drop this jumping expert to something like um, attack uh, expert 2 and swap out one of the experts for an attack or something like that. You, you, you can run whatever you feel most comfortable with. I'm not certain if Lightbreak is meta for this playstyle. Uh, I've seen uh, people using different weapons. I, I see the majority of people using Safi, but uh, for me, the slightly extra purple as well as the extra slots kind of uh, edge this one out, but I, I defer to the judgment of the of the TA runners. If you are going to run Safi, make sure you get enough purple for uh, just uh, enough sharpness, sorry, awoken on the weapon for a sliver of purple with a few points of handicraft. Personally, for a sort of high level but not perfect speedrunning territory, the sharpness management of having a tiny sliver of purple with Safi is just not ideal for me. And so I prefer to run Light Break. It's not much difference between them and it does get a bit extra blast, but honestly it's up to you. And that's really it. Two main sets, one sort of standard playstyle, one aerial playstyle, and a few variations of each running either Safi or Protective Polish. You can mix it up a little bit. But these are sort of the two fundamental sets you need to have to, to, to sort of start branching outwards. So hopefully that helped. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I uh, hope you have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye bye.